Hey everybody, hope you're ready to learn some more about Photoshop CS6 because I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I'm going to be teaching you about working with the Photoshop tools. And the tools are these things over here on the left. Now, there's a whole slew of these. Um, the the uh, Photoshop like made about like 70 of them, I think. And um, I know that there's just um, 11 selection tools alone and um, it's pretty sweet so we're gonna go over these and there's so many of them I'm not gonna go through them all in this tutorial I'm just gonna give you a good uh, indication of the different kind of groups that you have there so um, sometimes when you uh, start up your Photoshop your tool selection panel might look like this or if you click on this double arrow here it'll be this like a long way so whatever uh, whatever you like better I like it uh, more condensed like this because I can get to the tools uh, faster so if you go up to one of your tools and click on it you can uh, select that uh, certain tool now if the tool has an arrow down here in the corner as you can see on this rectangle one here and this one with the lasso they got little arrows down in the bottom right corner if you click and hold you can bring up a few more extra uh, tools that are within that set so that's pretty cool now if you look at some of the tools if you um, hold down on them they have these letters next to them those are the hotkeys so the hotkey for rectangular marquee tool is M so um, getting to know the hotkeys while you're using Photoshop will speed up your workflow tremendously and you'll be ahead of anybody else that doesn't know how to use the hotkeys in terms of speed now once you get like your hotkeys down and you're good with uh, um, knowing which goes to what then you start learning how to use the tools effectively and then you can be really great at Photoshop so let's uh, start going over some of these things. This uh, um, tool here is just the uh, move tool. And this is one of the main tools that you, you'll use. And the hotkey for the move tool is V. So if you press V on your keyboard, that will make the move tool. And that pretty much just moves stuff around. So if I come to this uh, welcome to Photoshop sign and I just move that around, that's what the move tool does. Now, um, the next section here is the marquee tool. And uh, what this does is take some like selections and whatever is within this selection, you can edit with some of the other tools. So maybe I wanna press delete. Um, here we go, if I press delete, well, that didn't work on that one because it's a smart object. Let's bring it down here. And it'll delete out a section there. You can add color to these if you if you wanted to with like a paint bucket tool such as that so that's just a uh, a tool for selecting things now also below it this is the lasso tool and it comes with the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool and these are for also selecting things you can draw a selection with the lasso tool and it'll create a selection for you. Same thing with like the polygonal, but the polygonal one does it in like straight lines. Like that, such as. Now I'm not gonna go over every single tool, but keep in, keep in mind what these tools are used for. Now if I come up here to select and then go to deselect, it'll get rid of the selection for us in case you're messing around with the different selection tools. We've got our magic wand tool here. And within this, we have the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. And these are used for selecting things quickly. So they usually select something of around the same color. So you can try, like I'll try to select this woman's shirt. That didn't work. And it tried to select as much of it as the shirt as it could based on color, but there's too much of a color difference within that. So it's a lot easier to select things with the uh, magic wand tool and then come through with the quick selection tool and add to the selection. So I could add like this 
and now I've got a decent amount of her shirt added. So I mean, that's um, a little bit of how you use those tools. We've got the crop tool here, which we've got a perspective crop, which is new. We've got slice and slice select tool. So these are for cutting things out. So I, if I select her face and press enter, it will crop out everything else and just have that. So I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to undo to um, undo what I just did last time. So when you're messing around with your tools here and checking them out, the way to undo what you just did is go to edit, undo, or edit step backward. So we can uh, go on to the next one. We have this is our uh, color selector tool. So this is actually called the eyedropper, but um, pretty much it's just used for selecting colors. So if I want to go select like this pink color here, and I click on it with this eyedropper tool, it's going to change our color here and over here to the pink, that pink color. Now these other uh, tools here, we've got a ruler tool, which can be used to create uh, ruler lines. Oops, I just hit the wrong one and then we've got uh, our note tool that we can use to like write like little notes and then you can use those to come over here into the note panel to open up little notes that you leave around for like other people that might have been using it, or that might use this after you or if you're coming back to it later let's get that out of there we don't want that on there now Let's uh, move down to the next set of tools. We've got our um, spot healing brush tool here. And this, these tools here are used to um, work on actual photos.